Setup time. All right, so we've got our parts list here. And then step one is just turn it upside down and put on the wheels. So we'll start with that. So installing the wheels was really easy. You just turn it around. You have to put pressure on the top of it though so that it screws all the way in. Then step two is simply to stretch it out. I already did that. Step three is we're taking uh, the tray support. So just these little bars and then we screw it in. So where the wheels are. So we want to keep this upside down and then we'll just screw those in. So we'll try that. So that part was pretty easy. You just screw them in. All right, now for step four, we're gonna install that um, floor grate, but you have to put it in through the top. So at this point, we're gonna flip it, and then we'll put the... Um... You see you have these little tabs here to hold it in, so I'm assuming that will catch on the edge, so we'll just put it in this way. So you just drop the floor grate in with those latches on the top, but the problem is it works great on the side, but it doesn't fit in perfectly here, um, which means here on the end, you can see it, it slides a little bit because it doesn't fit perfectly inside. I don't know if that's a design flaw. It probably won't matter, but it doesn't fit perfectly. All right, now we're on the second half. Step five, we're simply gonna close the top and then the next step is close the locks um, in the front and on the top. So we're just gonna prep it. On this part, you just pull this up, drop it in and then slide it back and then that's locked. And then to open the whole door, you can just do it that way. That's it. So if you have multiple units on this, you can take the wheels off and you can stack it here and it will just stack on top of each other. So you've got these last few instructions that show you how to do that. But we only have one, so we don't have to worry about that. Here are the extra pieces. If you're stacking it, it comes with just some things that will just screw right into the corners there and then you can stack them, so we'll hold on to that. I don't think we'll ever get another dog, but we'll hold on to it. Uh, it looks like I'm looking at the time. It took me 20 minutes by myself to set this up. I'm not very good at this stuff, so you can probably do it in 10 to 15, <laughs> but pretty easy setup. Now let's move it in and see how it works. To get the tray in, you just put it in on the end and just slide it on in. And we're done.